This is going to be part four. This is going to be the last part uh, of a series where Kevin and I have, uh, we've been answering questions. There have been, uh, there's 80 questions total. So in each part, we have answered 20 questions. And so this will be uh, the last part. We're going to be answering, uh, we're going to start at number 61 and we're going to go all the way to 80. So we're going to get started. Um, are you more of a talker or more of a listener? Listener. And I'm going to say it depends on who I'm with because when I'm on the phone with certain people, all I'm doing is listening. I'm, I'm, That's because they're talkers. <laughs> they're talkers. Yeah, so all I do is listen, 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 listen. But now with you, I feel like I'm a talker <laughs> because Kevin's my person, you know, and I think when you're with your person, you become a talker. I'm still a listener. <laughs> you talk too. I talk too, just not as much as you do. Okay. <laughs> um, if you could have the starring role in one movie, what would it be? Like an old movie? It's a movie that's already been made. Yeah, I mean, it would have to be. Um, Ooh, I don't know. Probably, uh, oh, I know what. Is it a movie or a TV show? Movie. I could still do a movie. Okay. Probably a, um, uh, Star Trek Next Generation. Like John Luke Picard kind of. That okay. kind of role. I'd probably do that kind of Okay, role. and I'm thinking big. I'm thinking I want the most publicity possible. So I want a major mo motion picture. I'm going to say Titanic. Yeah. I, I want Kate Winslet's part of... Uh, I want her I want to see you in those scenes. I want Kate Winslet... <laughs> I want Kate Winslet's position. Paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I could do that. I, I want her job. Okay, uh, what is, what's your favorite movie quote? Oh, Lord, I don't we know. We quote well, movies to each other constantly. You and Andrew did. Me and Andrew, me and Ashley. Yeah, me, like, I don't um, remember anything. It used to be like, I know you are, but what am I? In yeah. Pee Wee Herman, but it's not anymore. Fire Brooka. That was what um, me and Ashley used to do all the time from Young know, Friends. Ashley and I constantly quote Still Magnolias. My colors are blush and bashful, and it looks like two pigs fighting under a blanket. And so we like those. I don't have, I don't, I don't really quote My precious. Yeah, I don't really it quote bangs. anything. Man. You you don't quote, mm. uh, but me and Andrew when Andrew and I get oh, together, oh yeah, you guys just go back and forth. And with music and stuff like that, well, we do that too. I'm not a quoter of because I just don't remember any of that stuff. What one thing are you exceptionally bad at? For me, it would be other languages. Oh I, yeah, I never took. But like you in high school, at least you can say you took another language. You attempted it. Yeah, I attempted it. I've never in my life taken a class where hmm. I'm trying to speak another but language. But you don't know that you're bad at it, though, because you've never No, tried. I'm bad at it, because people you tell me constantly, tried. I do try, and I don't... The thing is, is I don't retain anything. So I can learn to say something for a video, um, but... Next month, if I get it again, I'll have to learn to say it again because it's not something that I say all the time. So if I'm not constantly saying it, I'm going to forget it. So I'm just going to say languages. What are you about? Uh, that's any, anything where I have to learn something like that, where I have to speech that's 100% that Yeah. Because I've tried to learn different languages. I'm just bad at it. <laughs> we just can't do it. I'm literally, even Morse code. I've tried to learn Morse code, can't do it. Uh, would you ra rather vacation at the beach or the mountains? Mountains, if I had to pick one of those two. Uh, I'm going to say beach. I don't like to be outside in the heat. Why would I go to a beach? That just seems like the most torturous place I can think yeah, of. Yeah, but in the mountains, are you talking about having a tent? I want, no, I'm thinking about going to like a cabin or something. Going out on the lake and fishing or something. I don't know. Neither one of those would be an option. I'm, I'd want to go I'm, to. I'm still going to say the beach. Yeah. I'd say the beach over the mountains. Because I would like to walk along a beach and gather seashells rather than be in the mountains. I'd rather be in a city. Yeah, but the beaches. The yeah, but beaches are on the sides of big uh, of of things to do of towns. If you go to the mountain, there's nothing around you usually. You're out in the woods where Freddie can come get you. Well, I agree. I don't or think Jason. It, sorry, Jason. I don't think either one of those are good options. Because I wouldn't choose either one of those places. 
I'm not an outdoor person for the woods and the mountains, and I'm not a get out in my sunny beaches and, and scorch myself. Kevin doesn't want to be winter. outside at all. No, I want to be inside in the air conditioner. He and Andrew both are that way. Uh, do you prefer to use wrapping paper or gift bags? Um, I mean, personally, I'd rather just use a gift bag and throw it in there and stick some tissue on top and go. And I like wrapping paper. But but every time I give a gift, I usually wrap it. Yeah, I, I, I love... I, it takes me days to wrap <coughs> gifts at Christmas, but I love wrapping gifts at Christmas time. Um, well, I don't enjoy it, but usually when I do give it, I would still use a gift bag. A gift bag. Would you rather receive cash or gift cards? Cash. 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 cash That's just cash. from the kids. I have to say this. If the kids want to give me something... I'd rather than pick a place like um, like an Xbox game card or. I'd something. still rather have cash. I'd still rather have the cash. I can just go buy whatever. But usually you can go where you want. I agree in theory, uh -huh. but usually what happens when you're given cash, you just stick it in your purse, and we spend it at the grocery store buying regular stuff. Yeah, but it's. I mean, it's never a personalized. It's not personalized things. You know right. what I mean? I. I'm not necessarily good at buying myself things anyway. I know. See, I don't mind spending money on myself. Yeah. Anytime. See, I would always <coughs> rather pick something for somebody else. Um, what is your favorite holiday? Christmas. 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 Yeah. Oh, Thanksgiving's a good second. Uh, who do you enjoy shopping for besides yourself? I love shopping for the grandkids. The kids, yeah. That's yeah, we both. Kevin and I both love going to the toy and department the toys, yeah. and looking at the new toys and picking out stuff for them and buying for them and putting it up. We enjoy We do. That. And see, we're at a place now to where when we had kids, we didn't have a lot of money to buy a Couldn't bunch of, of cool toys. You know, right. And we bought stuff, but nothing like what we do as right. grandparents. Our now money's a lot better, it. so yeah. you can afford better stuff, you know. Yeah, so it's more fun to do it. Yeah. Whereas as so I enjoy parent, it. As, it was a chore as a parent because you're like, bar. okay, I've got like 30 or $40 to spend. I've got to spend on two kids. What do I buy? Right. You it know? was very tough when, when we were young parents, but now... Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Plus, we can buy the most annoying toys now we want to and give it to them. Give them <laughs> take them home. Oh, that makes the most shrill noises in the world. Have fun with that. Or goop or Play-Doh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, have fun with that. Glitter. Play with that on the table. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't run around the house in it. Um, what is your favorite store? And I don't know if that means grocery store or... No, just a store. If you wanted to go shop somewhere... I'm going to say out. Target. My like, probably best. I don't, know. I don't know. I like Target. Target has a I enjoy going to Target too. And it's bright and it's clean. I enjoy Target too. I was going to say Best Buy, but usually when I go in there... You I, don't buy anything. I don't, I don't buy anything. I'm usually going to one place and that's it. I'm not shopping around. You go to Best Buy to look <coughs> at what you're going to actually buy on Amazon. Yeah, which is a shame, but that's the truth. But that's the way it is because it's more expensive at Best Buy. It is. So my favorite store to shop in is Target. I like Target a lot. Um, and they have toys and they have clothes and they have everything food and yeah. bedding and cooking stuff. Oh, great. Although, I like, I like uh, depending on the mood, I like Bed Bath and Beyond because it's got all kinds of neat little gadgets and stuff. Yeah, you know? but no, Target, if I had to pick just a regular everyday store, probably Target. Okay, uh, where would you like to spend your retirement? Probably in Florida. I'll say Even though I'm not going to go outside. Yeah, I was going to say, you complain they about the air conditioning. <laughs> you turn the air but, on. But, but, okay, then why be there? Just because you wouldn't have to deal with the snow. I would have to deal with snow. Yeah. Um, it's warm, so I'm not dealing with cold. Because I don't like being really super cold. Either. I don't either. I don't I like either. being really hot either, which I'd really rather find a median temperature to where it stays probably around 80 all the time. That's That'd be perfect. Like Hawaii. Okay, let's get real with Tammy. If I could spend my retirement anywhere, I'm, I'm going to be in London. Yeah. Um, it, it, hustle, bustle, I love it, absolutely. If I could be anywhere, it would be there. But well, if I had to pick some place in the United States... No, I said where would you Okay, go? then I'm going to be in London. Yeah. Um, so she'll be there, I'll be in Florida. Cho chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Vanilla. Uh, if you could take a road trip, where would you go? A road trip. Um, I'm going to say Texas. We have talked about driving to um, um, We've talked about driving a lot of places. We've talked about driving to 
uh, Pennsylvania and yeah. seeing the Liberty Bell. And up and north, so. over east, yeah. northeast. But I or, think parking would be hellacious. We've talked about going to the Halloween party at the um, Shining Place. Yeah. The Inn. It's not the Overlook, but it's, no, but it's the real it's where, the name where of they the did real it. Place. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think road a road trip. trip to Texas, that'd be a long road trip. It would. I was thinking to, to some kind of like amusement park or something like that, but then when we got there, we don't ride the roller coasters and stuff, so Cedar Point wouldn't be a good road mm -hmm. trip. I wouldn't want to go um, there. I, anymore, I don't think, I don't get into the road trips. I'd rather fly. I'd, we would both rather fly. I'd rather fly, and if I do happen to have to drive somewhere, rent a car locally and go, and then fly back home. I wouldn't want to drive like to California or Texas. No. I mean, that would be miserable. No, really road My trips. My back would be sore. Yeah. Short road trips would be better for us. Like, uh, uh, like day trips. Yeah. Or even South Carolina wasn't bad. When we went to, uh, it was a day, though. uh, Paris Island for Andrew, it was a nine hour drive. Yeah. Uh, we could do that. Yeah. Uh, drive a day to get there, do whatever, then drive back. Yeah. I'd rather do that. Yeah. I agree with you. Uh, so even to go to Disney in Florida, we'd much rather fly than that. I would never drive to Florida. No. I know it's cheaper, but... I, but you're exhausted when you get there, and then you have that to drive all the way home. Yeah. And, and you're using up an extra day just to drive yeah. there and back. So, so really, it's m m better to fly for it, us. It is. I'd rather spend the money. If you got the money. You know, if you don't, What's drive. one food you'll never eat again? Oh, mm. We've, heard some, we've tried some really bad food. <laughs> I, 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 okay, I'll tell you one food I'll never eat again for sure. I will never again eat the Walden Farms peanut butter. Peanut butter. No, that stuff's not that Never again. Healthy. I don't and care. And truth be told, Marmite and Vegemite, I, it would have to be something very specific reason for me to eat that again. Okay. I was not going to say those because they have a, I think it's a Marmite... I, I could. I think it's a Marmite peanut butter or a Vegemite. One of those has come out with a peanut butter version, which I don't doubt that we won't end up trying. Ugh. That's why I wasn't going to say that. Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. It would have to be a very special reason. That would be for me to reason. do it. I would never pick that up on my own and eat that stuff again ever in my life. But for a video, we would try it because yeah. it's different. But now there's also some cedar lean. Uh, Stuff. I don't think they make those anymore, though. I think Cedar it Lane like, is still around, but it's not like Cedar a, Lane. It was a soup and some kind of wrap, and mm -hmm. they were most disgusting things I've ever ate in my life. That was his, uh, the worst thing he's ever had on his Lunchtime Review channel. Just do a search if you're curious. Cedar Lane. Um, Awful. Now, that's different from Cedar Lane. Cedar Lane Yeah, I had a couple different. of good, decent things. It's the Cedar same Lane. company, but Cedar Lane, they tried to go... Yeah, low calorie and i think they did they don't sell it didn't it work okay if you had extra money what frivolous thing would you buy for yourself if you had extra money probably something for the computer honestly new video card if i had frivolous something. money i would buy a new bedroom suit for the bedroom yeah it's not really frivolous well, but our bed's fine. Our dresser's fine. That's true. Everything in our bedroom is fine the way it is. So, you're talking about spending money that you don't need to spend. Yeah. So, that's frivolous. Yeah, that's true. So, I'm going to say a new bedroom suit. I mean, because we actually agree on one that we, we both like. Mm -hmm. So, that would be frivolous, but it would be thousands of dollars. And that's why we haven't done it. Because it's like, well, what, what we have, it works fine. It's not the prettiest thing, but it, you know, it works. Um, if you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with the extra time? I'd make more YouTube videos. Yeah, options. Yeah. I would watch TV, play games, yeah. or read. One of those three things. I'd be doing those, one of those three And things. I'd be making you more YouTube videos. I'd be reading more. Well, that'd be part of playing the games is making the videos. And I would be watching movies. I would yeah. be doing exactly what I'm doing now, but more of it. Yeah, that's Just the same more thing. Of it. I would, there's nothing different I would be doing. Uh, what fictional place would you like to go? Fictional. Hogwarts. Oh, yeah. Hogwarts would be pretty cool. Yeah, I agree with that. I never thought about that. Yeah. Either. Hogwarts. See, I'm thinking of more... Are you thinking Star Trek? Star Trek Enterprise uh, in space, you know, on a spaceship somewhere. Yeah, That'd but every planet cool. they go to is deadly. Not every planet. That's not true. It's always some... Not there's Next always Generation. a drama. Next Generation, there wasn't that many deadly places. But Next Generation always had drama. 
They did. Because it's a TV show. They it have was more watch. social drama than... I mean, Hogwarts was life. drama too, but I'll take the drama at Hogwarts. Yeah, I don't know. I think Hogwarts would be cool. Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley, yeah. that'd be cool. Okay, two more questions. Are you usually early or late? Early. early. Always early. Always early. Like sometimes half an hour early where I'm sitting there going, I wish I had got here so but early. We, but I but am we would early. rather be half an hour early. Then than even a few minutes late. Yes, I cannot stand yeah, to be I late. I don't want other people in my life to be late. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. yeah, I think if, if you are one of these people that are always... I think it's, it's disrespectful to everybody around you. Yeah. If you invite people at a certain time, they need to be there at that time. Or, or some contact you and let you know yes. that they're not going to be. It's just, it's a, it's a respect thing. Yeah, I and, and I care about your time and you need to care about my time. And that goes for when I have a doctor's appointment. I want that doctor to be on time. And... I mean, let's face it, many, many doctors are not on time, but I, I do think it's, uh, sometimes they can't help it, but sometimes they can help it. And I think that they need to try their best to be on time. Yeah. Sometimes they schedule appointments during the during their lunch break knowing they're going to be on lunch. Yeah. We've yeah. had that, not with our current doctor, but I think we've ran into that with some other doctors. Yes. It's like, come in at 12, and we're like... Uh, we've been sitting here for like an hour. Oh, well, the doctor's at lunch. They'll be back at, at yeah. 1. And we're like, it's then why'd you schedule me for 12? Yeah. I would have been here 1. Yeah. So we are yeah. early people. Yeah, early people. And the last question is, what takes up too much of your time? And I know this is easy for me. Um, Watching YouTube, watching Twitch videos and stuff like that. And I'm going to say playing on my phone. And honestly... Yeah, see, I don't play on my phone that much. Honestly... I, I use the word play, but I'm not really playing. When I'm on my phone, I'm catching up with things that I need to do at, for part of my YouTube channel. Uh, people are um, always sending me uh, Instagram pictures, Instagram Suggestion. messages. Uh, uh, yes, which I like. I'm glad. I mean, I'm not complaining at all. But those are things that, that I can do on my phone. I can have my phone in any room and um, be taking care of that business. And um, so I enjoy it. It takes up a lot of my time, but I still enjoy it, so I don't mind. Yeah. Mine's mindlessly sitting there watching Twitch. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm watching Twitch in one monitor and doing something on the other, I don't think it's that bad. Right. But when I'm literally just sitting there... It's no different than watching TV. Right. Um, I'm sitting there watching the computer screen while somebody's playing a game, you know, which if you'd said that to somebody 15 years ago, they would have laughed their ass off. Oh, yeah. That, that people watching, will be sitting around watching people play video games. That people go in sports arenas and pay oh, yeah. to watch, watch those, those games yeah. to watch yeah. people compete. There's sports bars. There's game bars that yeah. do that. Competitive gaming bars. Yeah. They're good bars. Like, you can drink and watch people play Yeah, it's games. a big deal now. So, um, I mean, I, but I enjoy, I enjoy watching it. But you know what? When we were younger, um, you used to like to watch. Yeah. Not as, well, you'd watch me. I watched you uh, play Tomb Raider and stuff and love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, and I mean, The Seventh Guest. Yeah. You know, they remade that recently. Oh, did they? Completely separate from this video. But yeah, they did a remake of that. So they upped the graphics, they made it more kind of new computers and everything. They just re released it. That's nice. Like within the past couple I would months. like to see that. Because it, it didn't look much different. It was neat to look <laughs> around in that game. It was one of the first ones that had the. Uh, um, people actually acting out parts like in videos right it was actual people not computer generated people it was like video of people right so anyway yeah well that's it that is our four-part series uh 80 questions i hope you enjoyed it hopefully you learned a little something about us yeah yeah um and uh you know if <laughs> if i get 80 more questions <coughs> together if you all leave 80 different questions in the comments below then we're liable to uh, try to do this again at another time like i said at the very beginning i don't know where i got these i just know i found these in a drawer literally in the bottom of the drawer when I was cleaning it. So there's no doubt how long you've had No telling how long I've had this, and it's like, we need to answer these questions because this would be interesting. So, uh, yeah, if we get a bunch together again, then we'll try to do this again for you. So I you, hope you enjoyed it. You know what I found interesting? What? That's all handwritten, too. 
Yes. So they weren't like pulled off of a website and copied and pasted into right. a document and printed. Yeah. This she actually was, hand wrote yes, all those this questions. This was all 80 <laughs> questions handwritten. Yeah. No, I, I, th that's what I'm saying. There's no telling where they yeah, came from. Yeah, it could have been from, from 10 years ago. Yeah, it very well could have been. So it, just in the bottom of a drawer. Yeah. So, so anyway, I do hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.